How to access your Wi-Fi router settings. If you want to change something, you have to log into your router software also known as firmware. From there, you can change the name of your network, the password, the security level, create a guest network and set up or change a variety of other options. But how do you get into your router to make those changes? At first, log into your router's firmware through a browser. Any browser will do. At the address field, type the IP address of your router. Secondly, open up a command prompt from within Windows. In Windows 7, click on the start button and type CMD in the search programs and fills field. In Windows 8.1 and above, press the Windows plus R buttons and type CMD. At the command prompt window, type ipconfig at the prompt itself and press enter. Scroll to the top of the window until you see a setting for default gateway under Wi-Fi. That's your router and the number next to it is your router's IP address. Note that address. Close the command prompt window by typing exit at the prompt or clicking X on the pop-up. Type your router's IP address in the address field of your web browser and press enter. You will be asked for a username and password to access your router's firmware. This is either the default username and password for your router or a unique username and password that you may have created when you set up the router. If you created a unique username and password and you remember what they are, that's great. Just enter them in the appropriate fields and your router's firmware settings appear. You can now change whatever elements you want typically screen by screen. If you don't know or forget the username and password for logging into your router, just follow these alternative tips. Many routers use a default username of admin and a default password of password. You can try those to see if they get you in. If not, some routers offer a password recovery feature. If this is true of your router, this option should appear. If you enter the wrong username and password and then press cancel at the login prompt, then you will need to try to find the default username and password. Your best bet is to run a Google or Bing search with the brand name of your router followed by the phrase default username and password, such as Netgear router default username and password or Lynx's router default username and password. If not, you may simply want to reset your router so all settings revert back to their defaults. You will usually find a small reset button on your router. Use a pointed object such as a pen or paper clip to push in and hold the reset button for around 10 seconds. Then release the button. Your first task will be to change the wireless network name, wireless network password and security level. You should also go through each screen to see if there are other settings you wish to change.
Finally, you can and should change your router's username and password from their default values. This better secures your router so only you can access the firmware screens. Just remember the new credentials to avoid having to reset the router to make any changes in the future.